Hello and welcome to my review of, um, I'm going to try and pronounce this right, Vent Ardent, I'm so not good at French, uh, it's by En Voyage, uh, this is a, another niche brand of you that I'm doing, um, I happened to actually win this fragrance which was really nice on Fragrance Car, only two people won a fragrance from them, they did a really beautiful giveaway um, and I happened to be the lucky one to do it. They currently have about 19 fragrances I think, I checked the website today. And this is the only one that I've smelled, and now I'm really intrigued to smell more because it's definitely very, very interesting. Um, yeah, so it's an Oriental Fourgère. It's a completely unisex fragrance, and man, is it unisex. It is just so, it's literally split down the middle. It's so bizarre. Um, I actually thought it was marketed for men um, until I researched it a little bit more. Uh, the owner of the company is called Shelley Waddington, and she... Um, I think it's pretty amazing because she still hand blends her fragrances and um, you know it's not done like that in many places that's kind of what I'm studying now I would like to be like she is so hopefully um, yeah it came out in 2011 uh, they've got fragrances for men and women but this one is as I said it's a unisex one um, it, it came so beautifully packaged um, which you probably would have seen the pictures beforehand um, after reading up on what the fragrance is kind of going for it's supposed to be like a kind of tropical beachy I'm gonna say pirate scent which is really weird because I thought of it as that when I looked at the notes and the way I feel about it is it's kind of my pirate scent but I'll talk about a little bit more about that in a minute um yeah it came in like a kind of like a message in a bottle in this beautiful little glass thing with a little tag on it and it came in a scroll um, but yeah, just for now, I've got a 15ml rollable one, which is enough because it's really strong. So um, I'll go through the notes with you. So it's got some really cool stuff in it, this one. I really, really like what Shelley has done with the theme and the kind of the direction that it goes in. So the top notes are tropical fruits, doesn't say which. Um, you've got bay leaf. Um, Curacao, which is uh, an alcoholic um, liqueur. If you ever had a cocktail that's they're usually called Blue Lagoon or something like that, like Sea Breeze, it's the bl really vibrant blue um, liqueur, which is usually orange or bitter orange flavoured. Then it's got Bay Rum and Wild Oranges. Then the heart notes are Magnolia, Heliotrope, um, Venezuelan Tonka, I'm not sure how much that differs from your regular Tonka, uh, but Tonka's lovely, it's a bean and it's very kind of vanilla-y and very sweet and lovely. And then it's got French Narcissus, um, which if you're from where I'm from, also known as Daffodil, I don't actually know what they smell like, I'd love to get my hands on some proper essential oil of that, just to really investigate what it's like. And then the base is uh, Musky Vanilla, Resins, again, not really um, saying what they are. Tobacco, amber, which of course is another resin. And then you've got three types of wood, mahogany, oak, and driftwood, which is kind of keeping with that beachy theme. Um, yeah, so I've worn this now, I've worn it probably fully for about five or six days, not in a row, but I really wanted to get a feel for it because it is so very interesting and complex. So that's kind of what I've done so I could do a proper good review of it. So I'm going to put it on this wrist, rollable. I actually kind of like rollables. It's the only one I've got actually, but it does, it's kind of like a neat application. It's quite cool. Um, here it is, anyway. It's a very plain, cutesy little bottle. It says En Voyage Perfumes. And yeah, it's Vent Ardent, or Vent Ardent, which uh, I work with a lady at work who can speak French, and she told me that the literal translation of that, Vent is wind, and Ardent is something to do with passion, so um, passionate wind, I have no idea, I'm not even going to go into that right now, but um, yeah, that's kind of the very loose translation of it. So... Anyway, when you smell this, oh my gosh, it is, it is so, so cool. It is, it's, like I said, it's completely split down the middle. It throws at you straight away. First of all, I get smoke, 
um, it's very the, the masculine side of it is it's very smoky of course woody um, like real wood very very strong wood and smoke um, and a kind of booziness but then this side of it you have vanilla and you have tropical fruits and even though it doesn't say what they are I I get a kind of banana slash coconut feel to it so it's like that the notes are very kind of juxtaposed and I find that really cool because sometimes perfumes don't have to blend harmoniously I wouldn't say that this is the most harmonious smell straight away it does pull me in two directions but it works and that's what's cool and kind of I guess contemporary when you're looking at some niche brands they do go for something that's completely different and not of the norm and I really like that about this it's like they made two perfumes and smashed them together it works but yeah it, you have the masculine smoky dark woody side and you have this vanilla -y, tropical fruit beachy side which is really cool and um, the florals are I would say most apparent when it's wet um, I'm, I'm still kind of getting to grips with a lot of florals when it comes to niche brands but it's a kind of delicate floral even though it's kind of shadowed over by these tons of other darker more prominent notes it's it's floral dry this is what I wrote down because I've got a few words written down it's also sweet smoky tropical and then it has these fuzzy undertones which kind of round it off it's got like a warm sweet base and the resins give it kind of a depth which is really cool and the top of it is more sharp it's very complex it's very weird to describe but yeah as the notes are kind of polarizing in a way it's it just makes for a really interesting fragrance I, I really really I really like it and I've kind of grown to like it more and more and more so that's what it is I mean that's that's kind of the kind of I guess technical description of it but I want to talk a little bit about what I I feel about it and my impressions so I'll do that now I'm just going to pause my camera because it's going to cut off in a second but only one second so this is um, kind of what I I feel about this fragrance I before I read about the kind of theme they were going for I call I already called it my pirate scent this is kind of like a pirate party I would call it um, if you can imagine the most sexy tropical beach party around a fire with some booze added in it's like if loads of pirates came and sat on a beach while they kind of docked on a random beach and you've got the smell of the fire you've got their alcohol involved you've got the flowers from the trees and then you've got the tropical fruits hanging there as well this is kind of the scent they would leave behind after they had their party and sailed off again and um, I also I kind of think this is kind of like what Jack Sparrow would wear the fact that it's split down the middle like I said and it's unisex it kind of it's kind of like his character I guess where it's masculine and feminine which is what he's like isn't he he's he's like a very feminine guy who's always drunk which would be the boozy part of it so it makes me think of that as well the woody the wood woody parts of it you know the driftwood and the, the it's quite strong the wood in this it almost smells kind of like it, the, the wood gives it a real dryness which is really cool and that would I guess kind of be like the wood of their pirate ship or the wood that they're buying on, burning on the fire this is me just going into a little bit more of a fantasy description of it but it's, it's sometimes sense conjure images and that's what this does to me it's really great um, so, and I, I wrote down here somebody walked past me at work today and said it smells like Christmas near you um, I'm not sure why but it must be because it's like a sweet smoke you know like you'd have at Christmas you'd have the fire burning a log fire with smells of sweet things in the air but not foodie in any way yeah it's it does it's, it's so many different things at once and that's what it keeps me interested I like to smell it over and over and over it's just great but um yeah it's got a lot of throw um, it settles down really beautifully and it does last for a very long time which is good because niche brands often do because there are a lot more there's a lot more essential oils a lot more naturals in it so I've got this dry here 
and the way it kind of rounds out is you lose a lot of the masculine tones that are in this it doesn't turn feminine but you just lose a bit of the masculinity it, the vanilla obviously comes forward um, the, the whole smoky dryness of it disappears quite a lot and it smells more like it smells more kind of coconutty and soft musky vanilla when it dries um, I don't really let it get to that stage very much because I really like it when it's wet because that's when it's throwing out all these different kind of unusual juxtaposed notes like I said but yeah this is it's still really pleasant but it's a lot more gentle wafty then I can smell it all the time on me which is good I really like that because you know sometimes you forget that you're wearing perfume and you want to put it back on again but this one kind of stays and I, I really like that so so yeah that's my review of um, oh, I have to say it again Vent Ardent that's my crap French pronunciation by En Voyage I want to get their discovery pack and um, kind of try out some, some other things by then because this is definitely interesting so that's it and I will see you guys tomorrow I'm going to be reviewing 1881 by Charuti tomorrow I've been meaning to do it for ages so tomorrow is the day have a nice evening, morning wherever you are and I'll speak to you guys soon thanks, bye bye